Welcome back, everybody. I'm Layla. And I'm Laura. And this is For Your Penjoyment, a show about fountain pens and the joys they bring us. Brought to you by Pen Boutique. So how are you doing today, Laura? Um, I'm doing pretty well. I'm really feeling connected to our Pen Boutique family right now. I went to this really fun thing yesterday on my day off. There's a thing near where I live called Sparkle Mart, which is a holiday market in the community center. And there's all these local artisans and stuff that make amazing stuff like, you know, pottery and all kinds of cool, super creative stuff. And I got my Secret Santa gifts for my person that I'm assigned at work as a Secret Santa buyer. How cool is yes, that? And I'm really happy with what I picked out. I can't wait to give it to her. It's not you, though. <laughs> I trust anyone in this store to be my Secret Santa. I can rarely, I have been rarely been able to say that about an employment, a place yeah, of employment. I feel like we know each other pretty well here and really like each other's quirks. Exactly. And we're also different and individual and we encourage that and it's cool. 100%. It's really cool. No, I'm feeling the same way. I'm super thankful for the Pen Boutique family today. Um, I too did some Secret Santa gift Ooh. shopping over the weekend, over over uh, this past Sunday. Very nice. And I am very excited for my Secret Santa, who is not you, to see... How cute and functional the gift I gave her is. Love it. Yes. Functional. Gotta Very love functional. Good. So here's a question. What are you writing with today? Ooh, okay. So I have my Twisby Diamond Mini and Grape. Very nice. Hold it over here. <laughs> the reason I'm using this pen right now is I haven't had much time to write Christmas cards yet, but I did write one, and I used this pen because it has... Hayabusa Glistening from Colorverse, which is a perfect match for this pen. Absolutely. And it was just so pretty and sparkly. It, I have a broad nib, and it writes really, really well, really smoothly. Perfection. It looked amazing. And I know the person that gets the card is really going to enjoy seeing that special ink and that I used a fountain pen. And oh, she's going to love, love it. I love details yeah. like that. Yeah. That is perfect. It just makes it so much more fun it writing sure cards when you're using a pen that you love and ink that you love. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Today I am rocking the Estabrook JR in Fantasia. Oh, yeah. I picked this little guy up recently and I have no regrets since doing that. I love sparkly. I love the blue. Fantasia is a very fitting name for this color outfit. I'm pleased as punch. That pen is so pretty. Ooh. It's so incredibly sparkly. It looks like a fairy wand. It, it sure really does. does. I should be casting it, spells. Like, it doesn't have to be in the perfect lighting or anything. It looks sparkly all the time. Exactly. And, and that just makes me happy. Yeah, I remember when we first got those in the store. It was, I think, like the, the very first summer that I worked here. Mm -hmm. And, I like, opening up the box, I was just like, wow, just amazed by that yeah. pen. It's just so different and pretty and special yeah it really stands out i had to have it so glad you got <laughs> that yay so we not only have had a lot going on in store we have a lot coming up in store yes i just wanted to make you folks aware this past saturday which was december 2nd mm -hmm. we had bill from pilot in-house doing a store event with us bill is so wonderful bill is always love seeing him absolutely yeah. one of the kindest yeah um coming up We've got a visit uh, from Mario, who yes. represents Girologio, Cartos, and Omas. Yes, he's the new brand ambassador for Omas. Exactly. He's coming in this Friday the 8th. Can't wait to see Mario. <laughs> he's, he's a really charming guy. He certainly is. <laughs> and then we've got Gary from Pelican coming the Love 9th. Gary, too. You Pelican enthusiast, mm. you. Yeah. And then on the 15th and 16th, we have Carrie from Kenro. Coming up. Oh my gosh. Ken he represents so many Amazing. brands, but Estabrook being my favorite of the brands. Yeah. Uh, and then on the 19th, we have Ken from Yaffa coming in. <laughs> like such lots of we store have visits. We've never had so many store visits like this it, all in one it's month. It's pretty it's intense. A lot, yeah. But it's cool too. It's fun. It's nice to know the brands care about us just as much as we yeah. care about them. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm happy to see everyone come in. So it's the holiday season. Yep. <laughs> And you know what kind of grinds my gears? No, what? When 
someone, say a family member, say a brother, in fact, um, happens to purchase for themselves a gift you were going to purchase for them. Wait a minute. So I made either the best choice or the biggest mistake of letting my brother borrow my fountain pen, yes. my Lamy All Star. Okay. And, you know, outfitted with my cursive nib because I can't go without my cursive nib. Of course not. And then I had to go to the grocery store. Okay. So I come back a half an hour later, and in his beautiful handwriting, he's written pages upon pages in, like, my fountain-friendly f- fountain pen friendly paper. Yeah. And he has fallen in love. So he didn't use fountain pens before this? Not at all. He's He's been a pen person. He's been picky about the materials he uses to write with. Yeah. But never a fountain pen person until that exact oh moment. Oh, my gosh. So he just borrowed your pen, totally fell in love with it. And now what? And then I happened to be at work the next day, and I noticed an online order come in from my brother <laughs> for online for in-store pickup uh, for three Lamy Safaris. Three? And three bottles of ink. He really fell down the rabbit hole. He fell down the rabbit hole. He got an extra fine, a fine, and a medium. Wow. Three bottles of ink, two of which were not compatible with extra fines or fines. <laughs> no. And this is what grinds my gears. He could have asked you he for advice. He could have consulted the expert Mm-mm-mm. for advice, but he didn't. Mm-hmm. So what had happened after that was that I got him the things that he neglected to get himself because mm-hmm. he didn't know. I got him the That's converters. Funny. I also oh. got him a broad nib and a cursive nib okay. for the safaris. Yeah. Um, and I got him some extra ink, and, uh, some paper, yeah. and called it an early Christmas present. Okay. So you salvaged this I fiasco. salvaged it. But boy, as an older sister, I wanted to deck the kid. I was incensed. I was like, I'm going to get him the perfect gift. It's going to be great. And then the dude got it for himself times three. Mm. So I want to talk about gift giving for novice pen people as well as experienced pen people. What do you give your loved ones who are pen enthusiasts Mm -hmm. if you don't want to necessarily get them a pen right we have a lot in store to offer yes in this regard first category let's talk stocking stuffers okay so one category of people that you want to get stocking stuffers for Mm -hmm. is like people that don't use fountain pens yet but you kind of think they might like them and you want to introduce them to pens the potential converts yeah but you don't want to get them like a really expensive pen because they might not really be into it you're not sure about it Mm -hmm. so a lot of our customers which i happen to know from working here for the last two christmases Mm -hmm. they come in and they get these guys ah pilot varsity (laughs) and a platinum preppy (laughs) and they get like Five of them, sure. you know, like one in each color. Mm-hmm. And they'll give them to, like, all their kids, all their grandkids. Oh, yeah. Even their co-workers. Yeah. I had Don't this really the good customer. Desk. He came in last year. He bought one for every co-worker because he was so into it himself. He wanted to share the love with other people. That's amazing. And they're so inexpensive. Exactly. If the person doesn't like it and they never use it, not it's a not huge that loss. big a deal. Right. But it may lead to them... What happened with your brother, just falling in love with the feel of fountain pens, and Mm -hmm. then you got a fellow pen fanatic on your hands, and it's always fun to, you know, talk about pens and share the love with people, so it's... It's just, yeah, a really great thing to do, spreading the love of fountain pens. I love that. This time of year. Definitely. Yeah. We've also got other little doodads that, you know, you can throw into a stocking stuffer. Pen storage, having a sleeve for your pen is always nice. Uh, for example, we've got <laughs> we've got two rickshaw pen oh, sleeves. Oh, yes. Love these. They're so appropriate. Down the rabbit hole. Exactly what we were talking about. Or, no, you cannot borrow my pen. Uh-huh. Uh, those are very cute and nice, soft storage for your pens. Yeah, and those come in tons of different wonderful colors. And Absolutely. And they're fuzzy on the inside. Nice and soft to yeah. protect that pen of yours. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my favorites is the uh, yak leather pen sleeves. Oh, yeah. This color is called dragon fruit. It's probably the, my favorite of the colors we Maybe. offer them yeah. in. Nice, secure leather closure. Like, it's very cute. Probably very really practical. crinkly on the background. Def- <laughs> horribly crinkly. I apologize. 
Yeah, those are great for people that just want to chuck their pen in their bag or whatever. Yeah, exactly. What else do we have that's cute and little for stockings? Oh, Probably yeah. this guy. That guy. We've got the Nekorobi pen stand. So cute. So cute. And Sometimes those... it's nice just to stand your pen up, have it waiting for you on your table ready to yeah. go. And those come in a whole bunch of different cute animals. Corgis, chickens, kittens, yeah, just, you name it. Yeah, they're adorable. Absolutely. And it's something that kids like, but whimsical adults like these too. Like, we'll get to that shortly. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And then a, la- a last stocking stuffer idea uh, we had was the um, the thing I'm really crazy about right now. Oh, absolutely. But I don't know how to pronounce it, so I want you to pronounce it for I me. I might butcher this. It's the <laughs> Sailor Hokoro Dip Pen System. Yes. So it comes in a variety of different outfits. You can buy the body itself. You can buy different nibs. Mm-hmm. You can buy a reservoir for the nibs if you want continued ink flow. Right. So this is the body. It's no super head. customizable. You can buy a whole bunch of different possible nibs. Even you a food can, nib, right. which is food-a, great. Two different stubs mm-hmm. or calligraphy, they call it. One's a 1.0 and one's and a one, 2.0. That's right. Very dramatic mm-hmm. line with variation. Very fun. And then you can get the pen with the nib and the body exactly. paired together. And it's like... The ultimate mix and match, or if you don't mm-hmm. want to mix and match, just buy it as is. Right. And this is the one that also comes with the dipped in sets. Exactly. It's paired with either really pretty, super shimmery, sparkle ink. Or now now this new beautiful sheen ink right. that they're coming and out And they with. paired them with this pen because they're like a little too extreme to use in a fountain pen. Mm-hmm. But they're perfect for using in these Absolutely. dip pens. Absolutely. So if you know Love someone with a thing. huge inky collection that likes doing a different ink a day or likes switching it up for card writing yes. purposes, dip or, pens are the way Or to like go. for using with the uh, ink vent calendar. Certainly. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Or someone that isn't into fountain pens and they don't want to mess with cleaning a fountain pen and all that stuff. But they still like playing around. They're kind of artistic. Mm-hmm. Really that would be fun. a gift for them. Really fun to use that For pen. sure. I love it. I really love it. Next up for your pen enthusiast, maybe getting them some storage would be super mm-hmm. beneficial. This is a perfect gift if you, someone who's already really into pens mm-hmm. and you don't trust yourself to pick out a pen for them. Sure. Because they have very specific taste. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know the person, maybe you know them really well, but picking out a pen can be really personal, especially sure for can. people who are super into pens. Yes. So you don't want to buy them a pen because you're afraid you're going to get the wrong pen or get a pen they already have. Mm -hmm. But you know they love pens, so you want to get them a pen-related thing. Pen cases cases are are perfect, and so are a couple of these other things that we're going to talk Mm -hmm. about. But let's start with the cases. Cases, first up. (laughs) <laughs> one of my favorites uh-huh. the Puni Labo cases they're soft silicone they stand upright this is my personal one which I adore and love um, she uses this all the time <laughs> carry it in my purse can I, can I demonstrate? you absolutely okay. can So you, this is a little creepy but head flips back that's right and then there's all these great pens in here I can jam six, seven, eight pens well, in there depending on the size this of the little pen guy with her. I sure do and it comes in an array of animal choices. We've got anything from bunnies to chickens to yeah, um, corgis, Piggies, other dogs, rabbit. You, know, you mentioned bunny, yeah, yeah, all kinds of different cats and dogs. Exactly. I think they're appropriate for anyone of any age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, I think they're wonderful. <laughs> they're really popular with like high school and college students sure. i know because shria lena's daughter mm-hmm. has one and she's mentioned like how popular they are among mm-hmm. her peers but adults like you who right. like whimsical cute things love them they're yeah they're great gifts. exactly i mean don't give them to a super serious style adult but you know you're your recipient <laughs> you know your audience yes. know your gift recipient for sure ooh the next now, one looks if you want to be a little more like. toned down mm-hmm. I really enjoy the Estabrook to go cup, the yeah. six pen yeah. pen holder. I have one of these, and it's I great. I love it. Nice sturdy canvas construction. This one is the special fountain pen day magenta one, which we still have in stock. Mm-hmm. 
Um, it's got this insert that, when folded out, opens up to six compartments. And to remember the trick I told you about that. And say you, you may have readers that you want to tote around with you. Uh-huh. Or you can, sunglasses. Or sunglasses. Yeah. You can flatten one of the sides, yes. tuck your readers in, and put maybe like two or three pens in there. Uh-huh. So... You use it and as you, you can will. like wump this down on a table. It stands up all by itself. Sure does. I like to bring it because I'm a complete nerd. When I go to hear live music mm-hmm. at this local cafe that I go to, it has local bands, and I like to write down the set lists in my little write notebook with my fountain pen. I bring that. I've seen you do that. It's very it adorable. Table, <laughs> and people notice it, and then they ask me about pens. And sure. They, you know, it's just fun. It's a, yeah. Who doesn't love fun? Just have fun with it. Yeah, I love the two-go cup. Now, another one of my favorites is the Yak Leather A5 notebook holder slash pen holder. I'm holding it upside down. Look at me go. Yeah, then you got your notebook and pen thing all in one. Keep everything nice in in one place. The Yak Leather is very soft. Yeah. It's that's got the, this very worn look. That's the crazy horse this one? This is the crazy yeah. horse one, my favorite. Yeah. And it yeah. comes in a few different colors. I think it might come in a greenish color as well. That's wow. the smaller one that oh, the, fits the, the field notes. size. That's right. Yeah. So if you want something smaller than the A5 notebook size, we do have one that accommodates a field note size notebook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those now, are great. We'll post links to everything down below. Mm-hmm. Now. And then the newest holder thing that I'm really into and Please you tell. are too we I, both have one we both own them so you have this size right uh-huh. this is the 12 pen size right the 12 pen Girologio denim pen case and I have this size the 24 size mm-hmm. and yeah this is something we just kind of recently started carrying yeah. we really like it it's made out it's a vegan mm-hmm. it's kind of made to look like jeans with a really sophisticated exactly. dark wash navy denim and it's got this little patch but it's not leather so if you don't want a leather case you want something completely vegan if you're conscious about that this stuff is, this is a good alternative it's got great smooth zipper and then on the inside it's got all these loops that really securely hold any size pen. I mean, I've put Absolutely. super skinny pens and super fat pens in mm-hmm. mine. A lot of my travel collection consists of Benus, and if you are a Benu collector, you know that they can be on the chunkier side of things. Mm-hmm. This pen case accommoda- accommodates them all pretty nicely. Yeah. I don't have any issues storing yeah, them. Yeah, and I have a Schoen Design pen, which mm-hmm. is really skinny and really, sure. s- like, slippery, mm-hmm. but it still doesn't fall out. I put it Very in nice. this, the Edge one, which is a little tiny a little bit tinier. tighter. Yeah. Yeah. And it has this, like, fuzzy divider thing in the middle, so none of your pens are going to rub against each other. That's right. But my favorite thing about this case is... How soft it is. It it's is just very soft. So soft. And it's got a little tiny bit of padding mm-hmm. behind the fabric. So it's like almost cuddly. Like I almost want to snuggle it like a teddy bear or something. I want to see if I can it's iron just, on a patch yeah, to my pen I love case. The feel. I, I like personalizing things. Yeah. So I'm going to try ironing on a patch to see how that goes. I will let you folks know. Yeah, and we have that in a whole bunch of different sizes that size, the 12, the 24. We've got, got the three, three size, which just has a little magnetic closure. Happy thing. And then we've got two really big ones. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what the numbers are in these? 48, 48 and 96, 48, I believe. 48, huge. And then 96. 96 oh my is gosh. a briefcase, yes. essentially. It's got handles that pop out, and you can walk along and hold it like an attache case, and it opens completely flat like four ways you could spread it out on a whole counter actually a bunch of our reps use this case that's practical and they bring it in and they just open it up on the counter and show off their whole collection of stuff that they carry that's so, great yeah if you got a big collection or you travel with your pens or you just want to store all of your pens in one spot that's the best way to go yeah, about it these are really really nice mm-hmm all right, so say your friend has storage mm-hmm. out the wazoo. Say they don't need that anymore. Right. <sighs> Stationery is always another viable gift alternative. Right, and that's something that you use you up, so you need more of it. it. Yes. Exactly. 
three of my favorites. Well, one of my favorites in three different formats. Yes. Is Field Notes. For my Dungeons and Dragons playing friends out there, we carry the uh, 5e Game Master's Journal, the Monster Encounter Journals, uh -huh. and the Character Journals. So if you're into tabletop gameplay and you want to keep track of your characters, all your details about your game, this is a fun way to go. And these would fit nicely into the A5 size um, oh, yeah. Crazy Horse. That's such Yak a Mother fun gift, holiday gift. Absolutely. I like the game element. And, it, you know, it's fun to get together with people and be creative and play. Exactly. Yeah, that's really cool. I've been itching to get into back into a game. So uh, mm -hmm. if you're in the Maryland area and you want to hang out with Layla once a week and play some tabletop <laughs> games, hit a girl up. Next up, I've got one of your favorites. Oh, I am so into these. Okay, this is another thing we started carrying pretty recently. Love these so mm -hmm. much. We've got a whole bunch of different designs. I just grabbed a handful here. So they come in two different sizes. It's five pack. And this is the it's Cartos. Cartos Italian stationery. Mm -hmm. It's got five envelopes and five pieces of paper Very in nice. the five pack. And ten envelopes and ten pieces of paper in the ten pack. Wow. And they are super fountain pen friendly. I actually brought one of these to our Pelican Hub. I remember. And had a whole bunch of people try it, just like throw whatever challenging ink pen combo they had with them at it to try to get it to feather and bleed and all this. Didn't budge. Only one, like bled through a tiny bit. Wow. And, like, they had all kinds of crazy stuff. None of them feathered. Most of them you could didn't even ghost. You could have written on the other side. That's impressive. Yeah, it was really impressive. And the paper is really smooth and super beautiful. So here's one. I really like this one. Oh, Here, I'm going to hand stunning. it to you. Um, this one's fun. It's an Alice in Wonderland themed Love one. That. There's also a typewriter's one that I really like. I love this, like, the autumn leaves, the colors, that. and they all have, like, gold foil kind yes, of accents, so they're shiny. It's a very classy feeling Yeah, this paper. one's another one of my really, very like, awkward. sophisticated opera. Yes. Yeah. This one, um, if you have someone that likes gardening. That'd be perfect. It's just really pretty. So you open them up, and they've got the... The paper, this one actually is one of the least exciting. Like, yeah, I shouldn't have used this one as a sample. <laughs> but, and then you got the envelopes with the beautiful insides. But Lovely. most of them have, like, beautiful foil accents. Some of them have design on the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. They're all gorgeous, and they're all different. And I think this is, like, the perfect gift if you're getting maybe someone a pen mm -hmm. to, to give with the pen to yeah. really make the whole gift super amazing. Or like we were saying, if it's someone that has pens and you right. don't know what new pen to get them, get them this. It's just, I'm, they're, they're so gorgeous. It's, you know, no one would not like getting this as a gift. I'm definitely going to be getting my pen pal friends yeah. some of these packs of stationery yeah, for they're Christmas. Yeah, so pretty. Another set of stationery that I enjoy quite a bit um, is the Lock the Paper stationery. Mm, yeah. Now... I like Lacta paper because it is a renewable resource. It's made out of the Lacta bush. Mm -hmm. This set's my favorite one, yes. but we have some other ones too. Uh, the Lacta bush bark, which you don't have to chop down the bush to harvest, you, it just continues growing. Right. Um, it comes with envelopes as well as the stationary paper in these beautiful boxes. Mm -hmm. They're all you handmade. Use after you use up the inside. Exactly. They're so cool. You can store bottles of ink in here. Now, normally I've said that lock to paper is more rollerball and ballpoint friendly than it is found. And felt tip, it works well. And too. felt tip as well. Yeah. But Lena discovered yeah. last night that it is a uh, food a nib friendly. Yes. Um, she was writing some holiday cards out for friends and staff. And with her food a nib on her Leonardo, she gave it a whirl. Yeah, she sent and had us a this ball. like really excited email last at night. like eleven, yeah. twelve, and something. Like, how many? She said she had to write like fifty cards or something, but she was loving it because it just she was using the, the food a nib. And yeah, yeah, and she said she doesn't usually get excited about unusual nibs. Right. She usually just sticks to you know medium broad stuff like exactly. that. But she was really having so much fun. 
with this paper and that food a nib combination and just enjoying 100%. writing, even though she had this huge pile of cards to get through. She was loving it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was very cool. Yeah. All right. And I got this here in my lap. You sure, certainly do. Last but not so least. When you're writing, mm-hmm. this is the perfect thing. And this is another great thing for somebody that has everything or they're really into pens, mm-hmm. but you don't know what pen they might want. And we each have these. We do. You have it in purple. Mm-hmm. So this these are a repurposed Italian leather writing, writing mat. mats. So we have them in a whole bunch of colors. I just brought some examples. It's the red one. That's the beautiful green. Beautiful green. And this is black. That's very black. classy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you have a purple one. I have purple. You I've have got, white. I've, uh, yep, I have a white one and an orange one and a black one. Wow. And they work as... A mouse pad. They you sure can, do. You double as a mouse pad. They um, work as a writing pad. I can put my stationery on top. My pen doesn't puncture through the paper. Right. And it's a smooth writing if experience. You, especially if you're writing with a single piece of paper. Yes. It just like really enhances mm-hmm. your writing and makes your pen behave better. Yes. Like sometimes you're writing with a pen and if It'll you're. skip you, or something. Yeah. But yeah. if you write with it on this mat, it starts. Writing better, it literally writes better. And I love the easy cleanup. Yes, you like can spill some ink on it. Right. If you want to refill your your pen right on your desk, do it on top of that mat. Wipe L- right off. Wipe yeah. right off. I've spilled all kinds of stuff mm-hmm. on my mat. I just wiped Same. it off. And, mm, no problem. <laughs> okay, so we've gone through organization. We've gone through stationery. What can a pen person not live without? The lifeblood of the pen, the ink. Hey. Ink sets <laughs> are, in my opinion, where it's at yeah. when gift giving. Yes, because, well, for me at least, I would probably not buy myself an ink set. Mm-hmm. I would buy myself individual bottles of ink, but an ink set seems like too special, too splurgy to yeah. buy for myself. So that's why it's the perfect gift. Exactly. It's something that you, you secretly want, but you're like, mm. mm-hmm. I mean, some people buy them for themselves, but uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think you. most people do. And it's like, wow, <laughs> when you open an ink set and you've got all these amazing inks right. all in one beautiful package. Like, I've recently fallen, in, by recently, I mean like over the summer, mm-hmm. but I fell in love with Andrew inks. Yes. They behave well. I love the business. I love the yes. family-owned business aspect yes. of things. And it's an American business. The color business. range is great. It's an American business. And they come out with these little sample inks from their collections. This is the cephalopod collection oh, that I have right here. This is my favorite. Mine, too. I love cephalopods. Same. And the colors are so cool. The colors are so rich and yeah. vibrant, yeah. and I love them. Yeah, and they've all got beautiful art on them mm-hmm. done by Friends or family members of the, Ander- exactly. the Anderson family mm-hmm. that created these things. They're really and they're cool. just the bottles themselves. They're super easy to fill. Mm. Uh, I've yeah. had I've struggled with other bottle designs in the past from oh, other companies filling yeah. fountain pens with. Yeah. Some might the neck might be too narrow for a particular pen, etc. Uh-huh. This is perfect. Do you have a favorite Andrelin color? Um, <clears throat> Colossal Squid Dark. That's my favorite. I, Wait a it's, minute. <laughs> it's moody. It's it is. perfect. It's different. It's different. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's really pretty. And I like my inks moodier. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Your turn. Well, I, of course, would... Uh, this mm-hmm. is such an amazing set. The Pilot Era Shizuku. Yes. Which is like... I would say my top favorite ink brand. They're mm-hmm. just so well behaved, so beautiful. Oh, Especially yeah. if you use Pilot pens, mm. this really your pen's going to behave the very best if you use this 100%. brand. And uh, they're so they're just they're great. And this is a set that has four colors. We have I think four sets, four. and each one has a different, four different combo color, right. of four different bottles, mm-hmm. and they're all your favorite colors. Each you know, in a different set. Yeah. It's a solid <laughs> what purchase. To say. It's just, yeah, this is like the ideal ink set. Yeah, this one includes opinion. Yamabuto. That's one of my right. favorites. Yep. It's great. And Takisume, which is mm-hmm. the black. Yeah. I've also got this 
Jacques Urban mm. set. Emerald de Chavour is one of my favorite shimmers of all time. Which we sell out of. Which all we the sell time. out of all the time. Yeah. It's nice to have it if you want to experiment with it in this collection. It's also got several other just rich, beautiful colors mm-hmm. in it. It's a great value, great size ink bottle, yeah, and it's fun to experiment. So if you're curious about Jacques Urban inks, right, the gift set might be your your speed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I of course also really like Sailor Ink and do you, mm-hmm. and there are some Sailor Manio sets that I, there's two different ones. I right. grabbed this one because I think the bottles are super pretty, and they each have four inks. I love the muted are, colors that have such a unique sheen. These are them. ones that are like kind of multichromatic, mm-hmm. and the other set has more like cool sheeny, also multichromatic but brighter. These exactly. are the more muted. Muted, yeah. And these are really beautiful, nice size bottles, mm-hmm. great sets. And then I have one more set of yeah. another brand that I really like to think of, which is Tasha, Ooh. which is a Japanese American brand. Yes. And I actually got this set for my nephew's girlfriend. She's one of those people that loves pens, but I don't know what pen she wants right. as a gift. I wouldn't, you know, presume to pick out a pen for her because sure. I don't know her taste well enough. But I know she needs more ink, and this set has really beautiful combination of colors. That's my favorite color combo yeah, there's, of the sets. There's yeah. three of these sets, but this one I really, really like. It's got the, the brighter colors. Including, um, what's the name of that pink one? Uh, I can't remember. Momo, I Momo. think. Yeah, yeah, I love Momo. It's got this beautiful oh. sheen, all mm-hmm. of these colors. And it's got the purple in here. And, uh, yeah, love, love, love that set. The last ink collection I have Ooh. is the Noir Collection from Monteverde. So I love every Noir ink I've tried from Monteverde. They're like, an off black mm-hmm. collection, like a blackened color collection. Yeah, I like call them it. Too. I own Copper Noir, Ocean Noir, and Rose Noir. Rose Noir is really nice. And they're so moody. And they have yeah. so much depth to them. Yeah. Knowing that we have some of these collections still in stock, these gift sets still in stock, kind of blew my mind, kind of made me regret buying three little bottles <laughs> when I could have gotten the whole set uh-huh. at one go. But right. I love this. And the sets are good values. They they're, certainly they're packaged are. slightly less expensive than mm-hmm. if you bought the individual bottle. The individual bottle in the Noir yeah. collection is twelve dollars a piece. You're getting the whole set for around the hundred mark. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's very, very exciting. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Those are really cool gifts for fountain pen lovers. Absolutely. Last but certainly not least, we have <laughs> gift sets yes. for every different type of pen person. Um, you may have the person you want to convert to a fountain pen user. Mm-hmm. The Faber Castell gift set, which includes a grip ballpoint and a grip fountain pen, mm-hmm. is probably worth your while. Yes. So in the event that they don't use the fountain pen and give it away, they still have a grip ballpoint to work with. And it comes in a lot of fun colors. And I actually really like the grip ballpoint. And I, I like own the grip two of them. Mm-hmm. And when I get them, I take out the ballpoint refill because I don't really like ballpoints, and I put in a gel refill. That's smart. And yeah. I use that pen like if I'm writing checks and stuff mm-hmm. like that, or in any situation where it's just not really practical to use a fountain pen. Right. I just really like the pen. Mm-hmm. It's really ergonomic and... I like the different colors Agreed. it comes in. It's comfortable. It writes really well. It's a it's a cool pen. It is a cool pen. The fountain pen works great. It's got the same nib as your Hexo does. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just different tactile feel. It's got that grip, you know, uh, bumpy yeah. um, body to it, yeah. which I do love. Now, say you have a person who's on the fence about a fountain pen, and they just think they're too high maintenance for them. Yeah, Lamy released Ooh. these gift sets this year. And they just include the pen, a safari, and a series of different colored cartridges. Oh, that's fun. So say, you know, this might be the ideal gift for a friend who keeps borrowing your fountain pens but claims cleaning them takes too much work. Uh Uh-huh. No. It doesn't have to be that 
that high maintenance. You can just pop, you know, clean it up, pop in a cartridge, and then you're good to go for your next round. All right, or like a young person who maybe isn't quite ready to be dealing with bottles of ink exactly. and converters and cleaning the pan a lot and that kind of stuff. One hundred percent. Yeah. Now, and one step up is the gifts one that you got. One step up is this, and okay. I know I already have a ton of fountain pens. Right. And I already have a Lamy All-Star, but I kind of secretly want this set. Really? Because I really love this white silver color. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. And this set comes with... Oh, a matching sleeve. Yes. A cool silver matching sleeve. That's a great value. Yes. So you get the pen, the converter, yeah. the large bottle of ink. It's everything you need to cartridges. get you started in sure fountain is. pens. Yeah. Right. So, you know, you don't have to worry about, oh, yeah, buy a separate converter. Right. Oh, yeah, get ink. If you're you guy, get ready one of to these commit. For somebody, yeah. They've got everything. Perfect. Yeah. And they come, we have these in a whole bunch of different colors. They don't all have the matching sleeve, though, which ah, is kind of really like this I one. But they're see. all great, like different fun colors. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah. And then lastly, Ooh. this is a gift set of a different oh kind. Gosh. Okay, this Go is ahead. so cool. We, we just got this. I mean, we've had it for a while, but now we have a lot of these gift sets. Mm -hmm. This is the Pelican M205 mm -hmm. Appetite color. Which matches Layla's hair, yeah. as you will notice. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with the uh, uh, the Edelstein ink and the pen are the same color. And this is one of my favorite pens. Now, what what's the price on this? It's the pen itself is around the two hundred. Right, but this set the is, set retails for three ten. Right, we've got got it crazily discounted for under one hundred thirty dollars. Yes, it's like the set is less than the price that you could buy an individual two hundred series pen. Exactly, which is Wild like mind blowing. It's insane, and yeah. this is one of my favorite pens, the the M two hundred series. Mm -hmm. um, okay, this one is ink, so I'm going to get super inky showing this, but. Okay, it's a piston filler. Mm -hmm. Works really great, and this is what I love about it. Oh, be careful! I know. Oh, you're I know. getting so inky. I am, but you can super easily unscrew the nib, oh. pull it out to clean it. It cleans really, really well. Yeah. It's not hard to clean. It's not scary to use a piston filler at all. Look, love at that. this pen. Now I'm super inky, but you now, are you, super now inky. you trust me. <laughs> super inky. This color is so pretty. I it's, love it. This is an awesome set. And normally this would be it kind of expensive to buy. But with the price of this set, it's like... Uh, it's on my list. It's insane. For it's, sure. I don't know how we are selling it that cheap. Wow. Look how well it matches your hair. It really Layla, does match. <laughs> it disappears. Yeah. It's, yep. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. Very cool. Thank you, Laura. And my... I don't have this... own this color, but I own this pen yeah a different color and it's one of my favorite pens i really really like it's it. got a great nib it's on it it's a great pen mm -hmm. yeah well i think it's time for our end of episode silly question laura <sighs> the silly segment the silly segment Yay. so let me go to my notes so if you were to have a holiday feast comprised solely of inks oh. what would your holiday feast look like an ink mm. beast. <laughs> All right. So I was very pleasantly challenged by this silly segment question. My holiday feast consists of Sailor Yamadori, Ooh. which means copper pheasant. That I didn't know. Now, the copper pheasant is actually like kind of an endangered species, but... So I wouldn't really eat one, but mm -hmm. because it's just an ink, that's okay. And this is a fantasy. Of course. <laughs> but I have it actually prepared pheasant. So so we've got Sailor Yamadori, and then I have a Robert Oster Sparkling Cranberry and Diamine Blood Orange sauce Ooh. for the pheasant. Very nice. And then as a side dish, I will serve mashed Diamine Pumpkin. And along with these things, I will serve three oysters red wine. 
Then, of course, we need dessert. Every Certainly. feast needs dessert. So I'm having a very um, not not um, non-indulgent dessert, but it's very precise with its flavors. Mm-hmm. You know, I will be serving three oysters, caramel macchiato to drink, well done. along with one square. Of Robert Oster dark chocolate. That is some self control right there. Yes. But it will be a very, very special dark chocolate, you know, okay. from a hard to find uh, yeah, artisanal. Exactly, kind you of, know, seventy yeah. percent oh. from a exactly yeah. Sounds good. So after this meal is over, mm-hmm. I will be enjoying some Robert Oster whiskey. I like that. Yeah. I didn't want there to be too much overlap in our answers, so okay. we did compare notes before the we episode. Oh, so did you change some of yours? I tried really we did hard. Have a bit of overlap, right? I, so okay. I did, I changed some of mine to be a little different. Okay, so you're gonna. So instead me. of an after dinner aperitif of whiskey, <laughs> <laughs> I went with Robert Oster brandy. Okay, I thought it'd be a little more appropriate. Okay. I tried not to indulge in the Monteverde Sweet Life line of yeah, ants because that's, that's like too, too on the nose. Mm-hmm. I tried really hard. I was thinking of serving Andorillium bobtail squid. No, green. I would go for that. Because who doesn't love a good squid I entree? Do. I love sure. squid. Um, we've also got a rum, um, maybe a three oysters mustard sauce on the side. Who With knows? squid? Who knows? Okay, this is okay. this is a fantasy ink challenge. Uh, follow that up for dessert, uh, Robert Oster chocolate pudding, mm, and yum. serve some uh, Robert Oster Australian Syrah with that. Sure. Sounds good. Um, uh, honorable mentions in my list include diamine brandy snap. Is this Diam- another drink or a food? This, it was very. It was getting to be very drink heavy, so I just figured I'd have like a little small People honorable mention. People are going to be smashed at your face. <laughs> I'm giving them squid and chocolate pudding. That's <laughs> they not better very be filling. <laughs> oh my god! I hope I'm not invited to this feast. Aww. Oh, okay. What if you were going to be the guest of honor? Now you just ruined my night. <laughs> all right, all right. I will, suffer through I will it with have the rest to of be us. very careful with how many of these drinks I have. What else do you have on this list? No more, no peach punch or apple glory for you then. Oh, no. <laughs> they sounded boozy. It could be a cocktail. Who knows? It does. It sounds like one of those, you know, holiday grainy drinks. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my sisters made that one. <laughs> Not out of the ink, but yeah. Well, that's Mm. it for this episode, folks. We appreciate you joining us for another week. Um, If you can, please like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate that. We really appreciate that. Very much. So, take care, keep writing, and happy holidays. See you next time.